OK, so in this story for subtraction, I now need the notion of the opposite, which puts me in a bit of a predicament. For example, we're clearly in the story talking about dots. So if I'm going to think of subtraction as the addition of the opposite, that means I need the notion of the opposite of a dot, which gives me two problems. What would I draw for the opposite of a dot? And what should I call the opposite of a dot? All right, so a lot of thinking here. But uh, maybe, in fact, most people tend to go with me on this, that maybe a good symbol for the opposite of a dot would be just an open circle this time. Now, what to call it? Um, people come up with all sorts of names when I talk to people about this. Uh, one common name is anti-dot. Because I actually personally like that one because that makes me think of science fiction. Because we've taken a lump of matter and a lump of antimatter together, apparently, bring them, bring them close around at hand, and they go poof, they just annihilate. So in some sense, that would be the opposite of this. Some people like the name Todd. Can you guess where that's coming from? Actually, I, I like that one too. I think it's really clever. All right, but I'll go with anti-dots here. All right, so we've got dots and anti-dots. And the idea is like matter and antimatter, if you put them together, so here's a dot and an add to it an anti-dot, they go poof, they just annihilate and give you this picture of nothing. So how do I draw a picture of nothing? Um, maybe I'll just do this, like a little annihilation occurred. All right, so that's it. Now I've got a notion of dots and anti-dots. And even right now, without dots and boxes, I can actually do some arithmetic with these sorts of things. For example, if I take five dots and add to that pile, say, three anti-dots, what I'm really doing right now is doing five plus the opposite of three, which I might write as a little dash three, that's what most people do. And we'll see some annihilations will occur. Poof, 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 smudgy. And what am I left with? Two actual dots. Most people call this subtraction. They might say five take away three. I like to think of five plus the opposite of three. Same ideas, all good stuff in the end, leads to the same uh, answers, all grand. Uh, but what I like about this, that if I have, say, three dots, and this time four anti-dots, so now I'm doing, what am I doing? Three plus the opposite of four. Well, clearly with some annihilations, poof, poof, and poof, I'm left with one anti-dot. So even right now, with the notion of dots and anti-dots, I can do some basic arithmetic. So our challenge now is to do this sort of arithmetic in the dots and boxes setup. Let's have some explosions going on. Cool stuff. All right, here goes.